Non-responsive. Tower, do you read? Shit. Comms are down. his friend, which came as some surprise, I spoke into his eyes, I thought you'd die. Thanks, Emma. V has come to. V has come to. All right, hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. 
it's time for Metal Gear. So this is going to be the new uh, the new walkthrough I'm going to do. Uh, Kojima's game. You all know Kojima. He's everybody's friend. Except for Konami's friend. They're, they're not friends anymore. They don't like each other. They had a real hard breakup. But anyway, this is, uh, this is the Phantom Pain. Metal Gear Solid, the sequel, immediate sequel to Ground Zeroes with the, uh, you know, the same name as Metal Gear Solid 5, just different sub name. But, um, yeah, this is going to be taking over for what was Mirror's Edge as, uh, I think it was Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday slot. Yep, Tuesday, Thursday slot. So, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just get into it. Uh, as per usual with the first part, um, things might be a little bit too low, a little bit too loud in the audio department. I mean, I'm sure my voice will sound fine, um, but, you know, as far as, like, gunshots or anything like that, I'm not even sure if we'll get around, well, we might get around to some, I'm pretty sure we'll see some, I don't know, we'll see, I'll hit the start button, though, I guess we can go into options, uh, take a look at some options, make sure, I guess we can do some sound stuff, hmm, uh, well, I was hoping for some more, uh, in depth sound related stuff what about game controls just taking a look not too important what was I looking for subtitles but this is game settings reflex uh, display right probably display display sub foreign only how about how about on all of them uh, and that'll be good I was really hoping for some more in depth sound stuff like come on what's this Audio guidance. Set where the uh, the iDroid audio guidance plays. That's it? That's all I get for audio? Is there something I'm missing? We did camera control game. We did game. It's not really that important. What was that thing down there at the bottom? Game type to start? Metal Gear the Phantom Pain? Can you change that? MGO. Oh, they're talking about online. Okay, yeah, not important. But yeah, I guess this is uh, as good as it's going to get. I'm not even sure at this point if I can change audio settings because I was hoping, you know, I could go in there and like change like, uh, like gunshot noises and stuff. I forget what they call that. The ambient noise and whatnot, background music, stuff like that when that plays. I like to lower that down a little bit because it could blaze in your ear if you're wearing earphones and uh, it could cripple you via the ear. So uh, let's just start the game. It's per usual. I won't be talking over cutscenes. I'll let you guys enjoy that without my commentary. And I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking a cutscene, yeah, okay, cutscene, or no, save first, cutscene, like, now loading, save, then load, then cutscene, save, then load, then cut, okay, here's cutscene, three days after awakening. Who is man? Who is man? Can you hear me? Are you having difficulty speaking? Can you move your head? Just nod if you can hear me. All right, so this isn't a cutscene per se, so I'll, I'll talk over a little bit of this, I guess. Look up. I, I just looked up. Did I do it wrong? Was I not paying attention enough? Very good. How do you feel now? Can you speak? Nothing's changed in the last three seconds. What is your name? When were you born? Can you recall? Alright, now we're going to go into uh, some character creation stuff. Uh, uh, should I go with snake or blue? Snake or blue? Ooh, how about, how about blue snake? How do I spell it again? It's like that. It's German. I speak American or English. So, I'm assuming that's right. I'm allowed to forget how to spell my own name when it's in German. It's okay. Now I'm forgetting how to spell snake. There you go. Snare. Yeah, yeah, that's right. January. No, that's not right. Um. Mm, 
Uh, let's do December. And then, oh, uh, Eve, there you go. Good. Now then. Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. I need to tell you something. Please listen and try not to panic. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know you would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been nine years. Damn it! No so coma! No so coma! No so coma! Nurse! Calm down! Calm down! Try not to panic! Wait a second. Try not to panic! No. I feel like we're really, really panicking. You'll be all right. This is the exact opposite of what he told us to do. Just rest. So yeah, nine years. This is nine years after the Ground Zero. How do you feel? It's been one week since you came too. Now, let's try getting you out of that bed. Nurse. Don't worry. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages, CPM therapy, and EMS. Now, I need to explain something to you, but you mustn't be alive. Nine years ago, you were injured in an explosion. Upon examination, we discovered 108 foreign bodies embedded within you. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone and human teeth. Most of it was removed, but some of the fragments still remain. They are located near your heart and in your skull. Look at this. The fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI, the metal you see. But even if we were to extract it, you would most likely suffer a brain hemorrhage. Mental and physical impairments are unavoidable. However, your current status is not life-threatening. One more thing. This X-ray is of your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult, but please look down. It's best to see with your own eyes. Be brave. It's true, there are those who wish you would never woken up. You should be dead, but you are not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. It's a wide open world up there. 
So there's something we need to take care of first. I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. What you look like, however... Alright, so this portion of the game can be a little bit confusing exactly uh, what's going on here. As you'll see in like a little bit, we're going to change our face, but when we get back into the game, we're still just going to look like Snake. And uh, what this actually is asking us to change is our Metal Gear Online player. This was extremely confusing when the game first came out, because Online wasn't available when the game first came out. So, uh, oh god, that's an ugly one. He <laughs> looks super sad. I, I don't even think I've looked at all these faces. I just kind of like picked the first generic guy. I think everybody's picked this guy. I mean, this is a guy I've picked, and I've seen some other walkthroughs. Uh, there's a there's there was a Twitch walkthrough out there with the girl whose voice is quiet. Uh, I forget Stephanie, something I forget her last name, and I feel bad for that because I just love her. She's great. She's a fantastic voice actress. She does great in this game. She says like no words, kind of hints the name. But anyway, everybody's picked this guy. I kind of want to pick this guy too. Because it's pretty much the, the bald guy or, or this guy. But to be honest, if I tell you the truth, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Um, I guess we'll just go with this guy. And then you can even change it up more here if you want. You know, different hairstyles. We can, I guess, kind of look at it. There's only four. It's v extremely limited. I feel like they should come out with some DLC or something, like some hairstyles for this guy. It's pretty much hair or no hair. And then some in-between options. And then you got, like, eyebrows. But I don't know look fine I guess I guess you could change the length up a little bit make it a little bit longer I'm not noticing a big difference with this guy it might not affect this hairstyle uh, change the color uh, change your eyes and I think they got some pretty cool well, these are just like normal eyes but I think they got some pretty cool eye colors you can do yeah here's eye colors you got like blind eye and some red eye and then like white eye yellow eye I like this because, I mean, it'd be pretty boring if they just, you know, had the blue-green and the brown. And, I don't know, it'd just, just be like hazel. People go with that. I don't know, let's just do blue. I, I like blue. There's also another option around here somewhere. Uh, glint. I don't know exactly what that means. But if you look closely, it's basically kind of changing the uh, exposure, I would say, of the eye. I like it to be on the 1 instead of 2. Type 1 instead of type 2 because it seems a little bit more exposed there. Think of the nose, cheeks, mouth, jaw, I don't get into any of that, skin color, you know, limited there, but it's, you know, whatever, it's fine, and it wrinkles, guess what, like how old your character is, this is like how you define that, I'm not seeing a super big difference here, I'll leave it at that, I don't, I mean, to be honest, you'll probably never see this guy again, because I'm not going to be playing Metal Gear Online, this is a walkthrough, I can't do a walkthrough on online, I just, like, it's over, as soon as you start, that's it, that's all the story. And they do have different tattoos here, which are, you know, more or less kind of stupid looking in my opinion, and placed oddly. I mean, I think that's a really weird place for a tattoo is on the chin. This one looks like it really hurts. Like, they really got close to his eye on that one. I don't know. But I, I, I'm not going to screw around with this anymore. I feel like I've kind of wasted enough time. Not important, like I said. Basic guy for basically no need. And now back to cutscenes. Oh, wait, wait, my bad. For, for, for saving. I'm going to triple my words, then save, and then cutscene. Very good. Now, let's remove these bandages. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection. To hide you from those who want you dead. As of today, your name is Ahab. Forget everything. Your name, your past.
This is you, as you've lived until this day. Tomorrow, it becomes... a phantom. in the next bed, so my face. Of course, consider it done. Chucking it with an intent to hurt and just like chucking it with a gun. Eh, ow. Also, you might notice up in the top right the little, little symbol of controller symbol. That means you can look around during this kind of cutscene. Okay, have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman? I... We gave her a light. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? You're talking to yourself. Been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ismael. What the hell is going on? Well, the good news is, you're in the land of the living. Bad news? Oh, well, what you do? <laughs> On your feet, soldier. The whole place is coming down. <sighs> So the real game begins. Look. We got movement. We can move now. I mean, we're not moving in supersonic, but, you know, we're getting there. Drug's not working. Eh, not yet, but, you know, give it some time. Even cocaine takes some time to kick in. I should know. I drink a lot of Coca-Cola. Well, you know, it, 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 it was true that they put cocaine in Coca-Cola. But it's not true that they took it out. I think you should know that. They just lowered the dosage. Granted, the dosage is so low now, it doesn't really matter, but whatever. 
Also, cutscenes like this are kind of weird. It's not like Let's a legit cutscene cutscene. It's kind of like an in-game. That doesn't make sense. I was going to say in-game cutscene, but all of the cutscenes are in the game. This is like a on-the-field kind of cutscene, especially those ones where I can even look around where it has the controller symbol. Uh, I might talk over those at some point, but when it's like a full-on legit cutscene, I probably won't be talking. I know this guy's supposed to be a lookout, but would it be too much to ask for some help, with some hand, you know, give me a shoulder or something? I'm legitimately asking, I'm not sure. Like, does he need both of his shoulders, or can he give me one? Also, Easter egg right there. Everybody say that's Easter egg. I'm not sure. It's more of a reference. I think that was like the poster for Ground Zeroes or something. Or at least one of the countries. I don't know if that's what it looked like in America. I feel like it looked like something else. I could be wrong. I don't remember. It's been a while. Also, if you, I'm pushing forward on the stick right now to keep him going. If you let go, he'll just sit there and stop and lay there. Sit there, stop, lay there. Super dark hallway. That's why we didn't pick that one because bad stuff always happens down super dark, creepy hallways. That's that's the Alma hallway from Fear. We're going down this hallway. This is the Metal Gear. This is the Metal Gear hallway. Safety, stealth, and butt cheek. I, I probably shouldn't have pointed that out to you guys if you haven't noticed yet. But yeah, his butt cheeks are all out. Butt cheeks. His butt cheek. No butt cheeks. Yeah. Does have two. It's like a little kid. Something's coming. What the heck is that? Is that Nemesis? What's going on here? That must be better than that is either. Oh no, it's just uh, it's just that guy from Fantastic Four that turned black. I've always liked about the Resident Evil series is that they incorporate these, you know, type of like people with like superpowers in some way. And it's cool to see in this series because they put a real emphasis on realism and you know, you know, realistic telling the story. You know, it's not like superheroes and stuff. Like they make it out in a way in Metal Gear, the way like superheroes are a rare thing. It's not normal. It's definitely something abnormal. It's not. It's not something you're gonna see. It's made to be like a realistic military stuff game, like Sam Fisher. But they throw in these, these, uh, you know, as Shield will call them, meta humans, every once in a while. Yeah, I think it's a really cool aspect, especially if, you know, it really makes some super cool poster. Like poster, check it out. Look at the poster. Everybody says, look at the poster. So look at the poster. Yeah, I mean, they incorporate these guys, and I think it really adds to their superpowers. You know, it, you know, you feel how lethal they are because. The game makes everything feel so realistic. That was just me ranting about it, though. Whatever. So he's on fire. Big whoop, right? I mean, that little kid could fly. Also, I don't know if this is a spoiler or not. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, though. That little kid is a, is a, is a, is a boy. When I first saw him, I thought he was a girl. He's got long hair and girly-looking feet. Ooh, that arm's not looking good. But yeah, if that's a spoiler telling you the gender of that thing, I'm sorry. No. Ah! Oh my god, that looks like it hurt. My elbow hurts now. Next looks like it really stuff. It's always good to try and mend your injuries while hiding from the enemy. Is that true? Is that a, is that true? Over I'm there. gonna assume that's true because it's, I heard it in a video ago. In my opinion, I think like we're mending injuries while hiding. I feel like they like kind of give you away sometimes. They could, like they could hear you. You gotta make some noise, right? 
I could either hear you screaming in pain or the sound of your bones snapping back in place. Oh, that's not good. SWAT team's here. SWAT's are here. Gotta get out of here. Really hoping I don't screw this up. There's a part a little, bit, a little bit ways down this hallway that I always seem to screw up. It's super easy, but I always screw it up for some stupid reason. Keep your head down. Maybe that's the reason I screw it up, because I'm stupid. Oh, you can't move right there. Okay, now you can move. Right as I said you can't move, that's when they gave us the opportunity to move. But you do have to wait. Shoot that guy, come on. That was like three shots. I'm, I'm just like so surprised he didn't see us. I mean, what about when we were moving in the fog when we were getting under the bed? And then like when we are under the bed, our feet have got to be still out like, quite a ways. I don't want to die. like that about Metal Gear 2 where they always say hit the action button, Don't hit this button, move the analog sticks. This is the part, look, I always screw that up, he always sees me. I feel like that's, that's glitched or something. Don't you die on me. So there you go, hey, we got it out of the way now, first mission fail. And also look at, look at the, uh, the, the loading screens. The normal loading screen. Cycle so through, okay. Let's see if I can not screw it up this time. I always mess that up. I'm just, I just kind of went for it right there. I did it on purpose. I guess we're supposed to like hide right here with him, I guess. Maybe? I always screw that up though. Because when you're first turning around that corner, you can't really see where the spotlight on the helicopter is. And I feel like every time I jump out there, it's right there. That's just me though. I'm sure no one else has that problem. Oh, okay. Time to run. The drugs have kicked in. Let's get out of here. I like that little stub pirate hand here. You know, a hook hand here. It's unfortunate we don't get to keep that the rest of the game. 
sorry. Boy, boy, where? Oh no, they brought tools. They brought power tools. That's never good. These guys can't prepare, man. Move, they definitely go. have ammo to spare because they've been pumping all kinds of bullets in the air by this scene. They like, triple tap each person at least. So that dude's going up. Didn't work out. Why did they open up with a gut shot? The first person they shot. They gut shot at him too. Oh, he's definitely dead. It's like they gut shot first, paralyzed, then hit oh pumped in there. Then headshot to kill after you shoot him in the chest like 15 times. Just push me, stop pushing me. Shit! It's ugly down there. Turn back. It's ugly down there. It doesn't look pretty down there. We should go up here and look for pretty hot chicks. This way. Oh no, this looks like a bunch of dudes. I don't want to go in there. Come on. Sausage fest. Oh no, wait, there's a nurse. It's okay. okay, I'll allow this. Lock the door behind us. Oh, what's happening out there? It's alright, we'll be okay. I can't see what's happening. I like how they gave us. I don't like to criticize, but, you know, because I like this game, but I like how they gave us a prosthetic limb but forgot to give us an eye patch. Because our, our, our eye is totally useless. It's, we're blind in one of the eyes. I think it's. I forget which eye. I want to say the right eye, but I'm not. What's happening? What is that? What's happening out there? Does anybody know? Hey. Shit. You hear them coming? I like how we zoom in on the anus. Like, oh yeah, that's our guy. I know that anus anyway. <laughs> Shot? An anus that we thought was our anus was not our anus? Alright, so this is our anus. I thought that guy out there that got shot was our anus, but nope, this is our anus. I've officially renamed this guy Anus. Anus Mummy. He looks like a mummy, so we'll call him Anus Mummy. I thought I should probably tell you guys now that, like, the first mission, this is the first mission, like, the prologue is extremely long. It's gotta be one of the longest prologues ever. I think we're about halfway through it at this point. I mean, it definitely takes a while. walk in and bip them. I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter. They're here to kill everybody anyway, so you might as well just bip them. But I feel like you can at least look at them. What if it was a famous person? You could have at least taken a selfie with them first. I and mean, what if Katy Perry's in one of these beds? Selfie first, and if you have to, kill second. Oh, I'd take hostage. And look, I don't know how he doesn't see us right there. I could see his eyes. I could see his eyeballs. But he couldn't see us. this how do they I'm mean, first of all these beds are like really high too these are like really tall beds I don't know if that's like hospital procedure or what 
Once again, they didn't see my feet hanging out of there. It's kind of weird. Anything? I, sh I shouldn't Negative. criticize this game. It's extremely Keep realistic. Keep looking. And extremely fun. It's a really great game. Trying to move, I can't move yet. We don't have moving ability. Okay, the drugs kicked back in. We're good to go. This way. We're sitting ducks. Blend in with the bodies. Get down on your stomach and crawl. Is that really the best idea? I mean, what about that door? Where does that door go? If you move, we're done for it. Play dead. Also, it's weird. We're like the only people that don't have... We're the only bodies that aren't covered in bullet holes and blood. So, you know, they won't see us for sure. I feel like this is a really bad plan. Like, he didn't see this coming, that they would just bit bodies. They double tap. This is technically the quad tap right here, because they triple tapped them when they were alive. And then now, like 15 minutes later, after everybody's for sure dead... Quad tap. Also, that guy bought a rocket launcher. What's he gonna do with that in here? He was prepared for anything. Isn't he? he even has it out. Like, what if one of these bodies? One of these bodies is gonna jump up at me, and I'm gonna have to shoot him with a rocket launcher. Is that what's going on with him? Well, there I go again, criticizing this great game. It, it is super great. Well, I'll, I'll talk good about the good parts, and I'll, I'll criticize the criticizing parts. Also, like these guys with their holding the gun sideways. Is that how they do it in the military now? I feel like they're they're kind of holding it really sideways. Like that dude's elbow was up past his ear holding the gun sideways. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know where this water came from. I don't think it's pee. I don't think he peed himself. Oh, I guess it's that, whatever that is. Is it like an IV bag? If so, what was in it? Did they put water in IV bags? Is that your little, uh, little girl boy? Man boy girl. This is a good time that that guy, uh, I guess it's good now that they got up a I like helping everybody to get set on fire. Having to do this stuff. That's like my new thing. Like, when the contract and I signed up for the SWAT team, was like, okay, if you do get set on fire, it's unlikely, but if it happens, you gotta go through the window. I'm probably ruining this great cutscene, right? to this building. It makes me wonder why they even bother to set gas. Just bomb the firebomb the whole building. Why risk it? I love the noise it makes when he charges up his fire blast. I wish he did that to Nazi every time he did that in Fury Tail. He charged up like a fire blast or something. Like the amazing Spider-Man and like Electro charged up some of his attacks that make really cool dubstep music. Mm 
you don't know that. Those, those smart guys don't know everything they have in that guy, but yeah, this pistol is gonna get him. You have a better shot if you just chuck the pistol at him. Like you can hit him in the eye with the butt of the gun and chase him for a second. Stun him. If you hit him in low fire somehow, like the, the right way you throw it, kind of like a big line, you get a good shot. Look at that hole. It's hard to believe that happened. Like we were standing in this exact spot like a couple a couple minutes ago. And it did not look like that. It's amazing what a couple minutes can do. Alright, so there was another mechanic in the juice with serious injuries. Sometimes when you take like fall damage or serious gunfire, you have to stop. Hit the wide button, heal yourself. It leaves you vulnerable, so you have to make sure you're like behind cover when you hear yourself or something like that. The drugs are really kicking in now. Look, we're up on our feet, we're moving, we're alert and responsive. Pretty sure it's mine. Now I'm looking at our yeah, it's definitely our right eye. I knew it was the right eye. Yeah, we don't have an eye patch. I thought that was kinda weird that they gave us a um prosthetic limb and not an eye patch. Keeps bumping me. I'm trying to stay out of his way. That's why I came over here. It's the rest of the stairs and fires are going to go that way. Is that a big, long blood trail? I've never noticed that before. I think it is. Oh. I'm trying to. <coughs> That's a really good shot. I bumped into him twice. I'm trying to get out of the way. Okay, looks like somebody got killed and then dragged all the way down this hallway. That's crazy. How would you do that? Right there, you know, like, look at this, like, a flashlight on your chest, look at this button it is. Oh, yeah, you can go, like, first person or whatnot. This is, you know, preferable. Take some of your shots. When you get up, uh, when you go up against, like, uh, cover, when you push up against it, you'll, like, get some of your gun. That's useful. Yeah, you can see people. Also clicking like the right stick in, you can go like pick which shoulder you want to aim over. He's still right handed, no matter what. I can't aim with this little hand. I actually wonder now he holds the like the little stub, like what's that going? What's that doing? Is that even helping at all? I, mean, I guess maybe a little bit for stability. I love his sweet Max Payne dive there. He went like super slow now. And he obviously disappeared after that because I didn't shoot like down past that way. So you might think you need to go that way, but I actually turn around at this way. Oh, and that means we're, uh, somebody sees us a little bit, a little bit aware of us. Hang out right here. We'll move it a little bit, and then we can go down this way. Put that turn on this way. This is the way I always like to play this way, because it's safer. 
I'm basically trying to get to the other side of where these are It's a little bit convenient that they're all looking at the wrong direction. Once you get close enough, they'll trigger this cutscene. And somehow he's made it outside. We're about 45 minutes into this. I told you the first, the first the mission, the prologue. 45 minutes in, and this is just one part. I'm probably not going to split this into two parts. Honestly, it's just one big thing. I want to get it out of the way. Objective here you can do. You'll see what you can shoot it. You can shoot this guy like a twenty times. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He might do that trick with his own. Okay, well, ricochets. That usually doesn't happen to me. Dying right there. Dying. Come on. Twice? Twice in one video? This is already quality. I guess maybe I should point it out now. This is not an S-rank run. Nor is this an all-task run. There's like nothing here. But basically what you want to be doing is going up this way. Quick dive. We'll tell you about the X button. Quick dive. Ooh, look, I, stopped I hate to have to die a whole bunch. Faceless SWAT guys. These dudes, man, set on fire, loaded up with bullets, now chopped up with helicopter blades. I mean, I guess they're kind of hammered. I feel like quite a few pieces of helicopter back in the hospital.
WWE matches from is the WWF. What do wrestlers call wrestling? Some wrestlers are gonna get out of here. end of our hero? I mean, probably not. This is just like the first mission. But hey, loading screen and saving. Switch it up that time. Usually it saves first. Luckily, Anus Mummy uh, found his weakness. Any lessons? Any lessons? We did not land in the water. I don't think I could swim right now. Have you seen our muscles? The guy said, the doctor said earlier that he did like massage therapy to keep our muscles up, but we're like this we're like a stick figure at this point. Look at that little arm. I almost can't tell the difference between the fake one and the real one. It's so sticky. Uh, not uh, stick figurey. We definitely need to work out. We need to not skip arm day anymore this week. You might have noticed there that the uh, mummy man is gone. He took off. I can't remember his name. Ismail? And we're Ahab? We never get called Ahab at any other point in the game. Everybody else calls him Snake. His name's Snake. Everybody calls him Snake. write down a list of like everything they can do? I'm actually not sure. Pegasus? Dead Pegasus? Hades Pegasus? I don't think the kid's riding too. 
don't know if you saw it there. But the kid was riding on the horse too with his like legs dangling. Actually, didn't notice that. Before. Oh my God, he was acting. Get on! I'm on your side. Oh, I know that. I know that guy. It's Troy Baker. I love Troy Baker. Still take damage, almost lethal amounts of damage. I read somewhere like it's actually when you hit the shooter at the first point. You lost your mind! I think it's close. You know, you shoot him, it's kind of slowing down a little bit, but it'd be warm. Careful, they go slow to reload! And uh, you basically want to be reloading as far away. I mean, I'm out. We got him. We shook him off. Also, I would just straight up fight him. Oh yeah, my bad. Sorry, that's that's the guy on the horse. He's real name Washington. Sort of. I don't know if that's like a real name. Because they like called him. I don't know if that's what's on his birth certificate, but you know, his name's Oslo. I just wish he'd like straight up fight him. Because Oslo is like one of the coolest iconic characters in Metal Gear. Like one of them. There's a lot. Oh, there you go. First mission's done. We got the chick. Oh, we got an S rank. Yeah, I guess it is kind of hard to not S rank that. I'm surprised that we S ranked it. I mean, I died twice. And, uh, what else? I took some hits. Took one hit. And, uh, that's about it. But, yeah, I guess we'll leave it off here. I mean, this is a really long. I mean, that was like one part, and we're like, I think at an hour and five or something. Oh, no, we're just at an hour. Almost an hour. But, anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. And, uh, you know, until next time, I'll see you chicks later. <laughs>